Okay. Now, with the notion of the exchange principle in mind, we're going to move on to explaining why Kruskal and Prem work. And in order to do this, I have to talk about the notion of a constrained spanning tree problem in which we modify the problem, the original problem, as follows. Certain choices you just don't get to make. Management walks through the door and says, for whatever reasons, political reasons, uh, deals with vendors, a little graft under the table, that you're committed to building those links. Now, the CEO says to you, you do the rest of the problem and do it as cheaply as you can. What you can't say to the CEO is, ooh, you know, those are really lousy choices. That's going to cost us millions and millions of dollars to do what you say. There, uh, you, there are lots of real world problems that you have certain constraints that you just have to live with them. And that's the spirit of this problem. The modified problem is you are given some edges that will be present in your spanning tree. Now, at least management is sensible enough to give you a set of edges which forms a forest. If they give you a cycle, then, then you, you probably can get away with saying, boss, uh, this is clearly not optimal. Uh, it's possible that uh, the CEO gives you a spanning tree and says, uh, do the best you can. And then you politely say, well, you've already built the whole blooming thing, so there's nothing for me to do. But the, the general setting is this. You're given some edges that are dictated by management, and now you must do the best with what's rest, with the other choices that you can make. And so what, what I'm trying to signal here is that you're going to build a spanning tree of minimum weight, but I'm going to back up. All those green edges must be present in your solution. Okay, is the general idea of, of this constrained problem, this specialized problem, clear to you?